So I'm doing an updated video on the cost of living in Cebu, Philippines. And so uh, there is a difference with the inflation going on. And uh, yeah, my guess is that that's uh, here to stay and will probably continue uh, to get worse. The chemicals that take us high. The night's young. Anyway, okay, so uh, the first item on my list is uh, going to be medication. You know, I'm spending about $90 a month uh, for medicine. So that's the first item. The second item is going to be elec electricity. My electric bill is coming in right at about $40 per month. Now I do run the air, but I don't run it constantly. Uh, the air unit that I have is actually pretty large for the size of the unit. So within a couple of minutes, it cools down. And uh, yeah, so my electric bill, I'm pretty happy with it at $40 per month, roughly. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good. My water bill is uh, exceptional. So my water bill came in at $6 this month. I don't waste a lot of water. I don't use a whole lot of water other than to shower and maybe do dishes, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, $6 a month, what a deal compared to the U.S. My internet bill is at $40 per month, and that's uh, with a company called Converge. And that's uh, the high-speed internet. You can get a, a cheaper price. Uh, I think the most people pay about $15 per month. But uh, anyway, I get the high-speed internet and it's super fast. It's like uh, 240 megabits, or I, I believe that's megabits or megabytes, uh, whatever it is. I'm going to show a picture of that, uh, the speed test on it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, typically way over 200. And I'm really, really pleased with it because it's just amazingly quick. So the next item is phone. And I'm only paying about $10 uh, per month for the phone. And uh, I use Dido on that. And then I use that as a hotspot for my second phone. Uh, so my phone here is about $10 per month. And then that second phone that I have, uh, that runs about $25 per month now. And that's, uh, yeah, that's actually a US phone, the second one. So. Most people wouldn't have that. They would ju only need that one phone here. And uh, that would only, it's only about $10 a month. Yeah. So the next item on here would be taxis. Uh, taxi or transportation. So I spent a lot on that for the last 30 days. It came in at roughly right at $250. Now, if you don't need to take a taxi, if you're not that big and you can fit on the trikes okay, that cost could be cut down considerably. And also, if you're okay with the public transportation, uh, that will take that cost down even more. And so when you get on a, for instance, when you get on a trike, you can either get the trike for yourself. And if I do that here, I, most of the time I don't, but I've started to lately. Anyway, it runs about 100 pesos. 
So if you do that, you, you can just hop on the trike and then when you go to pay, you just hand them a hundred and 99% of the time they're, they're good with that. If you ask them how much it is, they're going to give you a higher price because uh, they know that you're a foreigner. So my advice is just hand them the money. It, it depends where your how long your trip is too, but for me that works out good. So uh, or there's always Grab. I use Grab a lot, and that's helped push that dollar amount up you know considerably up to that 250 per month uh, the next item would be food food I eat out uh, I, I budget about ten dollars per day for food and that's eating out and so that's coming in at 300 and I have seen an increase in some restaurants, but it's not that really, it's, it's not that noticeable. Now groceries, uh, I at 200 on that. Groceries that have gone up, I've, I have noticed that. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. Other than going to the vegetable stands on the street and that kind of thing you you know you'll save a lot of money actually by doing that by buying your vegetables on the street rather than at the local store it it'll save you a whole lot actually the next item on here is going to be miscellaneous and entertainment so on that, that would be whatever you enjoy, whether it be going golfing once in a while or going to the movies or getting a massage or getting a foot rub, whatever you want. Uh, so on that, I put 200 on there. And uh, yeah, I, I always try to budget myself uh, on that pretty much on everything, actually. Yeah, so... You have to have some kind of budget and live within that budget. If you don't, uh, it's not good. The next item on here is uh, going to be uh, association dues. At the place that I'm staying, they have a uh, condo association. I pay $20 per month for the association dues. That covers the security a grounds maintenance, that kind of thing. So it's really cheap. It's not like in the U.S. where you're going to be paying uh, $250, $300, 350 dollars for association dues. So again, yeah, only twenty dollars here, which is fantastic. The last item on my list is coffee. I budget $100 a month. I basically get a coffee every day. I know that you can do this, you know, you can have it in your house or your condo and you could go buy the coffee at the store and make it yourself. But I enjoy getting like a latte or cappuccino or something every day. And that costs uh, roughly about $3 every, every day that I spend on that. So the grand total on this works out to $12.56 plus whatever your rent is going to be. If you're renting something at $300 a month, then... You know, you'd, you'd add that to the twelve fifty six. If you're renting at five hundred a month, you'd add that. So for m most people, that if they live the same style, you know, lifestyle that I'm living, which is good, you know, their your monthly expenses, depending on how you live, are going to be coming in at somewhere between uh, I'm going to say fifteen fifty up to maybe uh, 
1800, somewhere around there. That would be my guess. Again, it really depends on your lifestyle. So if you can live like a local, man, you'll just save a fortune. But even the local people, I believe, are starting to fill these prices a little bit. So, uh, yeah. And, and then the rent, you know, you can rent something for 200 a month or you can pay 2000 Well, probably not 2000 but you could probably pay 1000 for a nice place. Anyway, so uh, yeah, my total's coming in at 1256 And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this gives you um, a better idea of, of where, you know, where you should uh, possibly be at as far as cost goes. I would say plan on about 1500 uh, you know, and if you have alcohol expenses or cigarettes, add all that in on top of these things that I've covered uh, because I, I rarely drink at all. So anyway, hey, thanks so much. Have a good day or evening wherever you're at. All right. Bye. To the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young